So now in this video we have a uh, circuit here where we're setting the current through an LED for the most part. It will vary uh, slightly, but whether we are using uh, 5 volts or if we go up to uh, 15 volts, which we can do safely the way we uh, wired this up, I am pretty sure, um, we will still have approximately the same amount of current going through the LED. Uh, we have it wired as a current source. Of course, we're wasting a lot of current here. This is not an efficient design, but it should be an educational one. So now we will measure the current with the uh, multimeter and we'll see the total current. We're gonna measure the current through the LED. We're gonna go to milliamps right there. And if uh, there's numbers, put it to a number that's higher. We don't need to move the red probe for anything, but high current with this particular meter right there. And um, so I'm gonna put the black probe to the long lead, the anode of the LED. No currents flowing through the LED yet until we measure it. Um, so there you can see, it's actually uh, pretty close to uh, 10 milliamps of current. And uh, as the uh, transistor warms up, I think it will go up a little bit. And we're gonna see a uh, more dramatic effect uh, coming up. So let's go up to uh, 10, and that's just waste current uh, right there. And uh, so let's go again to the long lead, the anode up there, bridging the gap with the meter. Again, we got about 10 milliamps of uh, current, depending on how good of a connection uh, we got there. But it's, uh, you know, pretty solid. Still about 10 milliamps of current, even though we doubled the voltage. Let's go to uh, 15 volts, which I think is close to the maximum we want to do in this circuit. There we go, to the uh, anode. And uh, so now it's, you know, about a milliamp more. But still, it's really close to uh, 10 uh, milliamps. Um, Looks like we're uh, getting like 12. The uh, components are working up. So, uh, warming up. So yeah, we are, uh, you know, probably pushing the limits there with 15. We might want to keep it lower. But uh, there you can see, we are holding, you know, close to 10 milliamps. It's not a perfect current source. We could improve this a lot. We are wasting a lot of current, so we definitely would improve this. One of the ways that a bipolar junction transistor is wired up is as a current uh, source. This is actually a current sink because the uh, transistor is on the low side of the load here. So you think of current sinking down. Um, but you can still call it a current source whenever you're setting a uh, current. And the resistor here at the emitter, what that does is it builds up a voltage at the emitter that's about 0.6 volts less than at the base so it's not exact that's one reason why we had a different current flowing through at different voltages but you know it's uh you know somewhat reliable there about 0.6 volts less than what we have the base that goes across the resistor and uh so i picked a 75 ohm uh resistor and um it's actually the first 75 ohm resistor i used out of this pack uh right there um which uh i thought was kind of interesting um but in any case um, I've used so many resistors, I thought I might use it. But in any case, we got 75 ohm there. We can expect if there's 7.5 volts across it, that we would get about 10 milliamps of current uh, flowing through it. Because you would have, uh, if it was like 0.75 volts, then you divide that by 75 ohms, you get 0 0.01 uh, amps. So, we're, you know, it's kind of an estimate right there. Plus, I think um, if we got enough current going through, we'll get a little more than 0.6 uh, uh, volts. Um, at this point but again that's measurements I'm not gonna make this a real long video that uh, we could take so we might even get pl uh, close to 0.7 volts and uh, you know that might be why we got above the uh, 10 milliamps plus when this heats up it's gonna conduct better and whatnot so in any case uh, whatever current we set here based on those rules will be the collector to emitter current right there now when it, uh, so you can see that set up there. We got the transistor there, 75 ohm resistor positive supply. When I was taking the current measurement, I had this jumper up there and I was bridging the gap between the two of them. Now there is no gap, but when it was up there. Um, so in case, long lead anode, short lead cathode, that is the collector, base and emitter because it's pointing to the right. Now we're gonna look at what I use to uh, set the uh, voltage. So this is why we're wasting so much current. Um, these uh, are just uh, 1N4001, you know, the, the most common probably uh, rectifier diodes that you get in kits and stuff. Each one of them is going to drop about, uh, or it takes about 0 0.6, 0 0.7 volts to conduct. And uh, so if it's about 0.6 volts each, that would be 1.2 volts total to get through the two of them because they are in series. 
as you can see there. So we should build up somewhere about uh, 1.2 volts at uh, this point. But uh, they actually probably don't build up that much uh, voltage um, because you need a lot of current. These can handle up a maximum of one amp of current. So you might want to put like uh, 0.5 half of an amp through them. And then it's probably like 0.7 volts that it will build up. But at these lower currents, uh, you know, it's pretty low there. We have a couple 1,500 ohm resistors there. And they should not be hot, especially now that I lowered it from uh, 5 volts. Um, they were primarily what was wasting the current. Uh, actual current source would be uh, better. Um, but uh, we got the current source here, a simple one. And uh, we got a simple way to get, you know, a somewhat regulated uh, voltage. And uh, so they're both to the positive supply there. And they're both coming to uh, this row right there. Hopefully you can see it. I'll move that over. Um, so, yeah, that's the anode up there. There's a little gray band there, cathode. So anode, little gray band there. I know it's hard to see. Uh, cathode going to the negative supply. And uh, so for those of you that really like the dot where everything is connected, I got the dot where they're all uh, connected. And... Um, if I don't have a connection, like let's say this does not connect to those, then I would make a little jump over it. Just thought I would mention that quick. So we're setting, you know, close to about 1.2 volts, losing about 0.6 volts. And uh, with 75 ohms, if you had uh, 0.75 volts across it, you could expect 10 milliamps of current. But again, this is not a perfect circuit. We got a lot of waste and stuff. Heat's making stuff. Uh, probably the transistor uh, conduct a little bit better, maybe. Uh, and uh, whatnot. Um, so it's not perfect. And there's the pin layout. As I said before, bottom one's the emitter. So that's flat side facing to the right, middle and the base. And then the collector is on the right, but when you turn it to the right, then it's on the top right there. So um, hopefully that uh, made sense. Um, the main point is when you have an emitter resistor with a bipolar junction transistor, then uh, the base voltage transfers. Uh, but there is a 0.6 approximate. Uh, volt difference but it transfers and ultimately that sets the uh, current through uh, the collector and the emitter of the transistor and everything else in series so in this case it's the LED and after having uh, rambled so long you uh, may have forgot if you were wondering uh, why I have a couple of uh, 1.5k resistors there paralleled so they're both going to that line and they both come from the positive uh, supply as you can see there so uh, Especially when we get up to uh, 15 volts, that would make a 1,000 ohm resistor uh, too hot, uh, probably, even with this little bit of voltage uh, being uh, dropped there. So, um, also, I found that the uh, current changes with just a 1,000 ohm uh, resistor when it came to these dials was changing the voltage more than I uh, wanted. I actually want a higher current at all times. Um, so... With a 1.5K and 1.5K, 1 so 1,500 in parallel, that's like having a 750 ohm resistor in their place. That's because each one of them is passing current as if the other one doesn't exist. And then a little trickle going through here, but it's mostly just measuring uh, the voltage. Um, but worst case scenario, maybe sometimes higher uh, current will go through. But in uh, any case, uh, twice the current is the equivalent of half the resistance, so this is like a 750 ohm uh, resistor, a single one. So that's keeping, you know, quite a bit of current going through here because these do conduct a little bit, um, you know, at a, a lower voltage if current's just like trickling through. It takes, you know, a significant amount of current, as I said before, for it to build up. So again, this is not a uh, practical uh, circuit for setting a current. When we have like 15 volts, the vast majority of the current is being wasted over here. It's not even going through the load, only about a third of it. And uh, I had to raise how much current my meter will uh, go through before it limits voltage. Usually I keep it 20 milliamps protecting LED, but I had to raise it to a 30, as you may have noticed before. But again, it's an educational circuit, and uh, you could use it if you needed to in a pinch, because these are all uh, com uh, common components. So, in any case... Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. I'll see you in the next one.